This short film is dedicated to my great-grandfather, Private William Albert Fry of the Grenadier Guards, 3rd Battalion, who enlisted into the Guards on the 17th of August 1904. He died on the fields in France and Flanders on the 15th of September 1916, and was listed as missing in action. He is remembered on the wall of the Thiepval Memorial in Ypres. This film contains actual pictures and newsreels of the Grenadier Guards and the 3rd Battalion from 1914. <laughs> On the 26th of July 1915, at 5.25am, the guards left London and travelled to Southampton. At 5.30pm, they embarked on the Clyde steamboat, the Queen Alexandra, which was met by a destroyer after passing through the boom across the Solent. At 9pm, on the night of the 14th of September 1916, the companies marched to take up positions and move via Trons Wood, Gilmore and Ginchy. The battalion was the right front battalion and was formed up in four waves. There were 50 yards between each platoon in readiness for the following morning's attack. 15th of September 1916. Zero hour was timed for 6.20 a.m. and the battalion was ready in position by about 3 a.m. The men slept therefore from 3 till 5.45 a.m. when they were given sandwiches and an issue of rum. During this time the tanks which were attached to the division could be heard making their way up from the back they were in immediate touch with the 6th Division on their right. At 6am the heavy artillery fired around 40 rounds in quick succession. This of course woke up the enemy who put a barrage down on Ginshi village. The 6th Division had failed to advance and the tanks had not been forthcoming. That left their left flank rather exposed and their right flank completely exposed. The men, however, were not to be denied, and though their right flank had been raked by heavy machine gun fire, they continued their advance through the trenches. After the guards reached their first objectives, they discovered there was a gap that was occupied by the enemy between their left and their right sides. The enemy opened fire immediately with machine gun and shell fire. Composite bombing parties, however, dislodged them, and the whole of the first objective was taken. The guards pushed for their second objective, Le Boeuf, but were met with a heavy counter-attack from the Germans. By the evening of the 15th, the battalion held a small frontage on the right of the first objective. This flank was subject to repeated bombing attacks, fire steps had to be dug in both sides of the trench, and bombing parties organised to resist the enemy bombing down. Fighting on a small scale therefore continued throughout the night of the 15th and into the 16th, and resulted in all counter-attacks being repulsed. Of the 209 missing on this day, 
William Albert Fry is one of them. He fell and died on the field. William Albert Fry is remembered at the Thiepval Memorial to the missing of the Somme.